नमस्ते माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर मिसेस प्रीति सुनील जोशी वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर इन दिस सेशन ऑफ फिजिक्स वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट वेरियस एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ नैनो टेक्नोलॉजी लर्निंग आउटकम्स आर बाय द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स आर एबल टू स्टेट वेरियस एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ नैनो टेक्नोलॉजी दीज आर द कंटेंट्स ऑफ दिस सेशन Dear learners let us first know what is nanotechnology Nanotechnology is science engineering and technology conducted at the nano scale which is about 1 to 100 nanometers Nano science and nanotechnology are the study and application of extremely small things and can be used across all the other science fields such as chemistry biology physics material science and engineering the ideas and concepts behind nano science and nano technology started with a talk entitled there is plenty of room at the bottom by physicist richard feynman at an american physical society meeting at the california institute of technology on 29th december 1959 in his talk feynman speculated that bottom up approach could someday be adopted by scientists for preparation of materials and fabrication of devices to atomic specifications he said the principles of physics as far as i can see do not speak against the possibility of maneuvering things atom by atom feynman's sparkling discussion of the problems and promise of miniaturization was the starting point of the use of nano scale machines to build complex products including other nano machines however it was not until the 1980s that notable research activity occurred and significant developments resulted over a decade later in his explorations of ultra precision machining professor norio taniguchi coined the term nanotechnology so dear students we can define nanotechnology as it is the design characterization production and applications of structures devices and systems by controlling the shape and size at nano scale so with nanotechnology it is possible to control matter on every important length scale it enables design of materials the developments in nanotechnology can affect the domains such as materials electronics energy health and biotechnology etc developments in these domains would impact a broad range of industries such as pharmaceuticals cosmetics consumer appliances communications security and safety and also space explorations today we find applications of nanotechnology in various fields ability of materials to dramatically change their properties at nano scale has opened up the possibility of making new devices instruments consumer goods etc here we can see the various fields in which nano materials have already entered or about to enter In this session we are going to discuss the applications of nanotechnology in textile sports and toys cosmetics and automobile field Textile industry is also quite excited about nano materials There are some clothes produced which would give pleasant look of synthetic fiber but comfort of cotton Special threads and dyes used in textile industry are the products of nanotechnology These clothes do not require neither ironing nor frequent cleaning. In the picture you can see Iranian researchers produce the antibacterial strings using silver ions and its combinations which are deadly to a whole variety of bacteria. Polymer materials can be easily contaminated with bacteria or fungi. which could result in the transmission of diseases and serious infection polyester is a kind of polymer with robust fabric low water absorption property and the least degree of shrinking when in contact with water compared to other types of industrial fabric 
This material is widely used in garment industry. So using silver nanoparticles during the process of producing strings will make the particles entrapped within the strings that creates a long lasting antibacterial property. Another picture shows a shirt silic which cleans itself. How is it possible? Throughout the day, our clothes are exposed to numerous things that can damage them. The biggest risk factors are the things we eat and drink. Silic helps you stay clean. The fabric has a nanotechnology bonded to the fibers on the microscopic level. Most liquid molecules will not be able to touch the fabric because of a microscopic layer of air that forms between the liquid and fabric. This is because the fabric is layered with billions of silica particles. As a result, this barrier protects your shirt from potential accidents. Next application is in the field of sports and toys. In today's society, different types of co-curricular activities like sports have become a popular choice for building a career. The sports industry also deals with smallest things called nanotechnology across the globe. And due to this, many revolutionary changes are being made. With the advent of nanotechnology in the sports industry, there has been the benefit of reducing the equipment weight and amplifying efficiency. Nanotechnology has fetched more sturdiness, potency and lightweight at the same time making athlete feel comfort, safer, less prone to the injuries and agile to the prior. Equipments such as badminton rackets, tennis ball, racing bicycles, golf balls, archery arrows, hockey sticks are the few sports equipments. Nano clay lining are found in footballs and tennis balls where it acts as a barrier material upholding the pressure inside the ball allowing for longer game play. Shin pads are also made from nano structured plastics. These are lightweight but have an increased strength offering the player a thin shin pad that is still strong and enough to offer superior protection. Sport clothing, particularly football kits, have also benefited from nanotechnology. Those smelly socks are a breeding ground for fungi and bacteria. Silver has natural antibacterial and antifungal properties. So clothing is laced with fibers coated in silver nanoparticles. The nanoparticle meshes with the cotton, nylon or plastic fiber used to create the kit or other sports equipment. Its volume might be small, but the silver coated fibers have a large surface area, meaning more interaction with the fungi and bacteria, thus preventing their growth and multiplication and the nasty smell on the sports socks. Adding other elements such as titanium uh, could see oil repellent, waterproof, anti-odor and anti-stain materials making their way into sports clothing and equipment. Then toy industry. Toy industry also has been well geared to embrace nanotechnology. Eye movements of dolls, robot movements are enjoyed uh, by children but appear quite brisk. Nanotechnology based uh, motors are being used by toy industry now making them very smooth and swift. Next field is cosmetics. Cosmetics are the most lucrative consumer products always in demand by people of all age groups from baby lotions to anti wrinkled creams. Cosmetics prepared by nanotechnology are regarded as nano cosmeceuticals. These nano cosmeceuticals are becoming more popular in the cosmetic industry. Eventually, nanotechnology may help us reverse aging at a cellular level. Until that day comes, we will have to be content with the ways that nanotechnology is being used in cosmetics to keep our skin more youthful and provide protection from harmful sunlight. 
नैनोटेक्नोलॉजी एप्लीकेशन इन कॉस्मेटिक्स एंड स्किन केयर इन्क्लूड सनस्क्रीन दैट यूजेस जिंक ऑक्साइड नैनो पार्टिकल्स टू ब्लॉक अल्ट्रा वॉयलेट रेज वाइल मिनिमाइजिंग द वाइट कोटिंग ऑन द स्किन स्किन केयर लोशंस इन विच न्यूट्रिएंट्स आर इनकैप्सुलेटेड इन नैनो पार्टिकल्स सस्पेंडेड इन एन लिक्विड मेकिंग अप अ नैनो इमल्शन द स्मॉल साइज ऑफ द नैनो पार्टिकल्स कंपेर्ड टू पार्टिकल्स इन कन्वेंशनल इमल्शंस अलाउज द नैनो पार्टिकल्स टू पेनिट्रेट डीपर इन टू द स्किन डिलीवरिंग द न्यूट्रिएंट्स टू मोर लेयर्स ऑफ स्किन सेल्स लोशंस दैट यूज नैनो पार्टिकल्स कॉल्ड इथोजोम्स to deliver nutrients that promote hair growth nano based dyes and colors are quite harmful to skin and can be used in hair creams or gels dear students now please pause the video and try to answer some questions let's take the first one richard feynman is often credited with the predicting the potential of nanotechnology What was the title of his famous speech given on 29th December 1959? Yes, the correct answer is there is plenty of room at the bottom. Now try this question. Yes, dear students, uh, you are correct. The answer is all of the above. Very good. Now let us see another application of nanotechnology. We know a simple car, for example, Indy car, Na Tata Nano. It is made up of large number of parts and materials. Its body and various parts are made up of steel, some alloys, rubbers, etc. It is known that nano tube composites have mechanical strength better than even steel. Attempts are made to make composites that can replace steel. Nano technology can be incorporated in various automobile parts such as paint, batteries, fuel cells, tires, mirrors, and windows. Uh, in the figure, you can see students where the nano technology can be applied. The introduction of nano technologies enhances the performance of existing technologies for the automobile industry. The main advantages of applying nano technology in automobiles. include providing lighter and stronger body parts improving fuel consumption efficiency and therefore achieving a better performance over longer period nano particle paints provide smooth thin attractive coating okay students uh, the next session we will discuss another fields of applications of nanotechnology thank you